Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week four of Palace's winter 2021 collection. <laughs> yes guys just finished up covering the collaboration that is releasing this week in the fourth week of Palace's Winter 2021 collection. And now we're gonna cover the drop list and that collaboration. So yes, guys, if you were unaware, this week for the fourth week of Palace's Winter 2021 collection, we're getting a collaboration with Vans. They are doing three colorways of a pair of skate eyes. Uh, now in the video, we will be using a Hypebeast article to cover the release details, all the seasonal pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on said seasonal pieces. And then we'll be using a second article to cover the Vans collaboration. The exact same article that we just used to cover the collaboration individually. Now, uh, we will be heading over to the first article now to cover the release details for week four. So here we are at the first article, guys. Uh, this is the seasonal items article. Uh, as we can see, we're getting a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very ye old inspired button-up shirt this week, but we'll dive into the uh, 63 images of the seasonal pieces or 12 of the seasonal pieces we're getting this week uh, after we cover the release details for, for week four. So, drop four of Palace's Winter 2021 collection. We'll see a global release uh, uh, on November 5th in the UK and US via the brand's online web store and in-store locations. So it'll be dropping this Friday. We will also see it dropping on the 6th, so the Saturday in Japan and on the WeChat store for China. So there we go. That is the drop details for uh, the, you know, the worldwide release on Friday and then the uh, Japan and China specific releases on the Saturday. If you guys have any further questions about the uh, drop it all you know what time yada 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 I'll try and answer any questions that you have regarding that uh, down in the comment section below uh, just obviously write it down there <laughs> now uh, now that we've covered all the release details for week four let's go check out the seasonal items this week uh, as I just mentioned we are getting 12 of them plus the three colorways of the skate highs so 15 items in total this week let's kick it off by having a look at item number one okay guys so to kick it off well we get this very interesting medieval shirt <laughs> for the first piece uh releasing this week what we have is the medieval shirt it's quite literally called that but to go along with it we also get the medieval trousers <laughs> Yeah, look, these aren't the heavy hitting pieces this week, but uh, they're very, very British and they're very unique. I'm going to say, look, the pants, I could see someone rocking the pants. The t-shirt is another story. If you're not a fan of the multicolored one, there is a blue version as well. Maybe the blue version's more your vibe with the contrast stitching on the denim here. For me, I'm going to stay away from it in general. But uh, that is the first two pieces releasing this week, guys. We have the medieval shirt and the medieval trousers. Let's go check out piece number three. Ooh, which I got to say is one of my favorite pieces that's releasing this season. So what we have at item number three is the collared puffer jacket. It is a work jacket styled well I, okay so it's a puffer jacket done in a workwear style with the collar with the fit i really like this with this diamond looking quilt puffer material for the exterior with the palace london logo on the left breast there and then on the back the same logo embroidered onto the back it's just I mean, I think it's really nice. It's really simple. It looks really nice as an outwear piece and it comes in a couple colors as well. So if you don't like this ivory color to start off with, it does come in this really nice bluey green as well, which I think looks just as good, if not better. And then finally it comes in a black, a little bit, I don't know. I, I, I guess 
I, I don't want to say generic, but black is very safe. I would almost be tempted for going for one of these colors, you know. I think these colors are the standout ones. It looks really nice, especially in this ivory looking color. Uh, the black, nothing wrong with it. It's just like, I've seen a thousand black puffer jackets. These kind of colors are sick. And yeah, the silhouette's just awesome. This is one of my favorite pieces this season. This is a sick ass piece. Uh, would I pick this piece up? Am I going to pick this piece up this week? Well, I may have got some more undercover. <laughs> I may have picked up some more undercover. So look, I mean, hey, look, if it's still sitting around in an extra large in any of the colors, maybe further down the line I will. But uh, I doubt it, man. This is going to be a sellout piece. This is going to be a piece that's going to be flying off the shelves. It is a sweet piece. Uh, it is the collared puffer, and I think it was even showcased in the lookbook, guys. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. I personally think it's a sweet piece. Now, piece number four, we have the, this one's a long titled one, the classic stripe drop shoulder uh, polo. <laughs> it is a palace crew neck sweater done in a polo style with a drop shoulder there. We can see instead of the shoulder stitching being up at the top, it's been dropped down to part way down the bicep there to make it have a more of a wider and baggier fit there look i honestly don't mind this too much i would have preferred it as like two individual pieces as either a polo or a, a sweatshirt i don't know how i feel about the mixture of the two but maybe a lot of you guys are feeling this one the colors on it are really nice the logo is really nice on it i just don't know how i feel about a collared sweater like i that just seems odd to me that just seems really weird now the hype beast article has unfortunately screwed it up so it comes in three colors it comes in this nice mixture of creams and beiges and stuff and it comes in this really nice red navy and white with some really nice navy branding on the center there kind of like um i guess you could say tommy hilfiger colors i suppose uh and then it comes in the exact same color well it doesn't it actually does come in a third color but they stuffed it up and did another image of this <laughs> so i'm gonna put on the screen now uh, the third color, which is a blue and dark blue color instead, which I think is a really solid third color as well. Uh, look, maybe you guys are feeling this type of sweater. I'm on the fence about it. I'm really trying to persuade myself that a collared Crinex sweater is the way to go. Uh, but maybe you guys are really feeling it. It is the fourth item this week. The uh, I will try to remember the name. The Classic Stripe Drop Shoulder Polo. Let me know how you feel about this one in the comment section below. Ah, and at item number five, we get one of my favorite pieces that we saw in the lookbook this season, which is the current crew. Yeah, look, okay. I, its name doesn't suit how I saw it when I saw it in the lookbook. When I saw this piece, I thought that logo looks like the chocolate bar, the Snickers uh, logo. It's got the red outline, it's got the white outline, and then the blue logo. Does it not look like the chocolate bar? I think it looks like the chocolate bar. But it's sick! Like, it's an awesome little logo embroidered on the center of the chest there. I'm totally down for this. I'm totally down for this. It comes in a couple colors, if you're not a fan of the black, but because the black looks like the chocolate bar, I'm a fan of this one. This is definitely my favorite color. But, uh, it comes in a brown, if you want a chocolate one. It comes in a green. It comes in a very, very bright pink. Comes in a navy, which I got to say is quite nice as well. And then it comes in a gray, which is all right. I would say the navy or the black is probably my favorite colors out of the two, with the black being the preference. But I think this is a sweet piece. It's been an awesome week so far in week four, guys. But that is the fifth item, the current crew. Now we had the medieval t-shirt. We had the medieval trousers. But this piece has got to be called the medieval hoodie, right? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> no, Palace has called this piece the ye old hood. Okay, fine. Be like that, Palace. Uh, this one comes in a variety of different colors, and I think the graphics are embroidered. Do not quote me on that, but I think they are because that P looks textured. It looks like it's popping out. I don't think it's going to be a puff print. It looks like an embroidery and so does the back as well. So maybe the artwork on the arms is printed and the, uh, uh, the graphic on the front and back are embroidered. But do you see what I mean? Like you look where the design connects there. It looks like it's embroidered together. I don't know. And maybe I'm the only one seeing that there. And even up there on the shoulder where... 
it looks embroidered to me but i don't know i, I there's no confirmation on that uh, i like the trifurg design on the back of it it's kind of cool it's actually not that bad they made the ye old hood quite tasteful it does come in a variety of different colors as well so if you don't like the black and gold you can get the gray and green which i think looks slapping as well We've got it in, I don't even know what to call this color, man. Um, cream, I guess, and black. That's all right. Uh, we've then got it in the navy and gold. I think that's really nice. That kind of reminds me of my high school uh, uh, uniforms colors though. So a little bit off put by that one. We've got it coming in a purple and gold. If you guys are a fan of purple and gold, so Lakers colors, you can go for that. And we got it in a final color, which is the white and olive which actually still kind of hits. I think it's actually still quite nice. But yeah, I think it's a really solid hoodie releasing this week. It's a sweet piece. But uh, yeah, let me know how you feel about the ye old hood down in that comment section below. Now moving into more jackets this week, we are getting the Tech Fleece Hooded Jacket. Uh, this comes in three colors. It comes in a black with palace branding uh, done vertically. Uh, and then it comes in a gray. Same palace branding deal and last but not least comes in a little purple as well for me i just can't see myself wearing this i i can't think of a situation where i'm gonna look like i'm about to go skiing because uh i don't know if you guys have seen any photos of australia or what australia is like at the end of the year but i'm gonna be wearing less layers of clothing <laughs> coming into the end of the year and i could definitely not see myself rocking this uh even just in a large portion of the year as well because uh that looks quite warm yeah i don't know maybe for you guys that live up in the northern hemisphere it's going to be different maybe you have some snowy mountain ranges you can hit up with this as like a base layer then your huge jackets on top but uh i can't see myself picking this up but this is item number seven the tech fleece hooded jacket and to continue that snowy theme we've got the alpine graphic returning from last week what we have is the alpine technology or tech long sleeve features that graphic on the front then on the back um it's all right i kind of like the other tech pieces that we saw before the alpine tech stuff that we saw last week i think that looks a little bit better maybe you guys are feeling these i'm kind of missing on them it does come in a variety of different colors though it comes in a uh again i think this is a i guess a cream uh, it's barely even cream though uh then it comes in a navy uh, and it also comes in the final color, which is white and black, which I think looks the best out of all of them. I'm not a huge fan of long sleeve tees, so this was going to be a miss for me from the start. But maybe you guys like this graphic and want to pick it up. Maybe you're into mountaineering and this just, you know, fits your aesthetic and uh, lifestyle. Definitely let me know if you're going to be picking this up in the comment section below. And continuing the long sleeve theme, you know, it is winter. We could have those long pieces, the layering. What we have uh, is a very simple long sleeve. And it's even admitting that it's simple in the name of the long sleeve. We have the basically a uh, long sleeve. <laughs> I know, creative name. They release this type of stuff every season though, guys, or at least every year. Uh, we have simply just a palace logo on the left breast there, and I'm pretty sure it's embroidered. That's all we're getting. Uh, it does come in a variety of different colors though. It comes in a green, an orange, a white a purple which i think is quite nice quite like the purple here uh, a black and a gray not crazy not groundbreaking palace pieces but if you just want a basic palace long sleeve well this is the piece for you but uh yeah that is item number nine guys basically a long sleeve and then item number 10 we're moving into the headwear now because well we've only got 10, 11, 12, we've only got those three last pieces and then we're going to talk about the vans. <laughs> so here we are, we have the, uh, sorry, it's got a long name. We've got the Go uh, the Reflective Jacquard Gore-Tex Beanie. So unfortunately, the Hypebeast article that we have here does not showcase it correctly. And what I mean by that is, is that we can see it as Gore-Tex branding here, but if I go to the next color, it just showcases the next color what is on the other side of this beanie is palace branding done in the same font so you can go check it out on their winter range but uh it's not just gore-tex on one side it's gore-tex then palace on the other side so i don't know if that changes up how you feel about that but that's it there 
um yeah for me look i don't want a 3m beanie that has gore-tex and palace written in such huge fonts but maybe you guys are feeling it more um it's kind of a miss for me it's uh it's an all right piece but i can't see myself wearing something like this now for item number 11 this is something i could actually see myself wearing it's i don't know why they don't do more beanies like this honestly they do a lot of caps with this kind of with the palace p logo on it but they don't do a lot of beanies like this what we have is simply just the p beanie that's literally what it's called p beanie uh, and it comes in a couple colors it's a uh, embroidered palace p on a beanie um comes in gray comes in i guess mustard comes in navy which is quite nice comes in uh burgundy and it comes in a green I, it's just solid simple easy it's a nice beanie i i could see myself wearing something like this in the winter season uh i don't know how you guys feel about it maybe you like your palace beanie with a little bit of reflectiveness like the previous one <laughs> but i'm more of a fan of this type of beanie uh maybe i'll definitely let me know which one you prefer but i think the p beanie is the better one out of the two but uh, that is item number 11, the second last seasonal item this week, guys. What are we going to get for our last seasonal item in week four? Let's go check it out. <laughs> you probably weren't expecting this piece. And honestly, uh, it's kind of odd, isn't it? What we have is the rainbow beanie. Features the iconic palace star logo on it. I think this beanie would have looked nicer without the rainbow. Just having the palace star logo on it kind of like the previous beanie where it just had the logo on it maybe i'm just basic like that but the rainbow isn't really selling it for me <laughs> like imagine if it was just brown with the star that would look nice just white with the star that would look quite nice i don't know man maybe it's just me maybe i'm the one that's out here being like uh the rainbow ain't it maybe you guys are really feeling it but I feel like we could have changed it up and it could have looked better as a piece. But that is it. That is all the seasonal items releasing in this uh, fourth week of their winter 2021 collection. But we have three more items technically to cover, which is the collaboration with Vans. And it is just one pair of skate highs done in three colorways, but that's technically three pieces. So it brings it up to 15 pieces this week. Uh, let's head on over now to that second Hype Feast article that I was just talking about. And let's have a look at these skate highs. And here they are, guys. We covered them in a lot more detail in the sneaker talk video. So definitely go check that out if you want me to, you know, dive into that a little bit more. But we have a mushroom graphic featuring on that inner panel there. That's the only colored panel on the shoe. The rest is just black and white. It comes in three colors, the yellow and black, the cream uh, color, and we can see it in the right hand corner there but the blue and black as well but that is uh all the pieces releasing in palace's fourth week of their winter 2021 collection i'd love to know how you guys feel about any of the seasonal pieces or the collaborative pieces in that comment section below and how you feel about week four in general i personally think this week was sick there were heaps of outwear pieces i liked heaps of hoodies uh the long sleeves weren't too bad I think this was a really solid week for Palace, but I want to hear from you guys uh, down in that comment section below about how you feel about this week. But that is it guys. That is uh, everything to be said about the fourth week of Palace's winter 2021 collection. We covered the drop details. It's releasing on November 5th for most of the world and then the 6th for Japan and China. Uh, we are getting a Vans collaboration in it. We covered all the 13, oh, sorry, all the 12 seasonal items releasing this week. I would say it's a pretty solid week. I actually thought this week was quite good. I mean, look, we covered the Supreme Junior Watanabe collaboration. When I do the drop list video tomorrow, I don't have high hopes for it. <laughs> but I mean, maybe they'll blow me out of the water and it'll be an amazing week for Supreme. But I honestly think Palace kind of takes it this week. I think Palace has come out with a really solid week this week. But maybe you disagree i want to hear from you guys that are picking up something this week though what are you feeling what are you grabbing let me know what you're going to be picking up from week four down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming weeks for palace's season you got to give me those three indicators you got to like the video leave a comment in that comment section down below and of course subscribe to the channel we're trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone that we set in the previous video of 3,140 subs. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of November. 
Well, that's everything I got to say about the fourth week of the Winter 2021 collection, guys. An awesome week, lots of cool pieces here, and if that ivory puffer jacket comes in an extra large and is still there, I don't know when's the next opportunity I'll be able to buy something. <laughs> I might have to consider picking it up, but I hope you guys manage to pick up what you're looking for from this week in the size and color you're after. But until the next palace video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next drop list video, guys, I'll catch you later.